Welcome to Vito's Italian Cucina. This is our fourth season. This is what we're calling our premiere show. Well, actually, it's a pre-premiere show, but we wanted to get this show out to you. We're so excited about this season. Thanks a lot for all your support. This, it's been fabulous, and we have all kinds of surprises this year. And today, today, we're going to do something special for you. Today, we're going to do some fettuccine, and I'm going to tell you what's in there right now. Here we go. Right down here is our egg fettuccine. That's eight ounces of that. Then we're going to do some red sun-dried tomatoes, which is beautiful. I love their tartness. And then over here, here, <laughs> then over here we have petite peas. These are petite peas. I love peas. And you can use as many peas as you like. Me, I like to use 147, 148, somewhere around there. You know what? I always enjoy a good pea. That didn't sound right. Well, at my age, you understand. Well, listen to here. Here you go. This is the other ingredient that's going in. This is called pancetta. This is an Italian bacon. This here bacon is a little different than your regular bacon in the store. This is cut from the, from the belly. It's a, it's a pork belly is what it is, but you make sure you get it really done, and I'll show you that a little later. You're going to love this stuff. You're going to try it. Watch this. Half and half. That's right, half and half. Mette mette in Italian, half and half. And then we have a half a cup of flour here. And then over here, I have some garlic and some basil mixed together. Now, what I did was I used frozen garlic, and this is it right now. Look at this. It's frozen garlic. You can get it at any high-end grocery store. I got this at uh, Trader Joe's. And can I say Trader Joe's? Can I, can I say Trader Joe's? Absolutely not. Oh, it's a tough room here, I'll tell you that. But anyway, I used this. I thought it was a lotto game when I first got it. I started scratching those off. Anyway, so... This is something that you're going to love. Some chopped basil, and that's a little bit of for, for garnish later, you know? And then, of course, I have some nutmeg. Love nutmeg. Just a tiny bit of that. You don't need a lot of nutmeg in this. It's, it's pretty, pretty strong, but it's a really nice flavor. In fact, I got a cousin named Meg, and she's a nut. So that's it for now, and we're going to get started here. I'm going to mix all that together. Pancetta, peas, red sun-dried tomatoes, and I'm going to make a gravy for you. So you want to go over and take a look at the gravy I'm going to mix up? Okay, no. this is a half a stick of butter right there. We're going to go ahead and let that melt down right now. You know, and while we're doing that, we're going to go over to the pancetta table. We're going to get the pancetta. We're going to chop it up because that's what we got to do. And here she comes, baby. Now, if you can see, you see some of the fat that's in there. Pancetta has a lot of fat in it. I cut some of it off already. If you like it in there, you can leave it in there or, or not. It's up to you. But I kind of like the flavor of the fat and like I said you can do what you wish and you start to chop it up get it into some nice pieces here and this is about how much you chop it look at that isn't that beautiful yeah baby so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go make the gravy okay so come on over you're gonna love this I love this part so I got the half a stick of butter right there and then I'm gonna take the half of a cup of flour and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in there and we're gonna mix it in, okay? We're gonna, just like this. Gotta keep stirring, stirring. See how that looks now? Ooh, boy, that's really good. That's really good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of mette mette, mette mette, half and half. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to put in. Right now there's a cup right there, but uh, we're going to add as much as it needs. Let me turn that back on now. Got to watch your heat. Oh, by the way, I put another half a cup of meta meta, half a cup of uh, half and half in here. And now what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to go ahead and add the garlic and the basil right in here. Here we go. Look at that. Put it right in there. You know what I mean? Oh, I like a lot, so that's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? You uh, can go add as much as you wish, by the way. You know what I mean? It's all to your taste, okay? So we'll go ahead and mix that in just like that. Woo, look at that, baby. Look at that. I love this. Oh boy. Woohoo! This looks good. This looks good. Let me just try that. I can put my finger. 
You're killing me. This is wonderful. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Look at my little salt shaker. I love this thing. It's like an electronic thing where you charge it. Put a little bit like that. To taste, and by the way, that's Himalayan pink salt. It's not iodized, and I'm gonna use some pepper too. Get some pepper in there. Look at that. Boy, oh boy. This is gonna knock your family out and your friends too. A little bit more more salt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stir it again. Woo, did you hear that drop? Can't use that now. There we go. Oh boy, that's done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready to mix it all up here. You get to watch me do this, it's gonna be great. So that goes there. And then I'm gonna bring my pasta over that I've already cooked. And this is our fettuccine egg noodles right here. And as you can see, if I was gonna stick my hand here, I can move them around, you know why? I can move them around so good like that because I put a little bit of olive oil on there after I'm finished rinsing them off. And by the way, when you go ahead and you get your noodles that's been boiling, you bring them over, put it in the colander. What you want to do is you want to put water over to rinse off the extra starches that's there, but you want to use hot water. This temperature over here is about 200, 230 degrees, and when you use the hot water, it's only like 110. So you still got hot water that keeps the noodles warm still rinses off the starch. So here's where we go. We're gonna mix it in right here, baby. You ready? So we got it just like this, okay? And I think I'll put in the red sun dries to start with. We'll put that much in here and see how it feels. Oh, heck, I love those, okay? And then I'm gonna put some pancetta in here. Here's some pancetta, put the pancetta. I'll put that in there just like that. We'll mix it up, we'll leave some of that like that. And then, of course, the peas, and you know I always enjoy a good pea. Here we go. So I'm gonna put some of those in there like that. We'll start with this, like this. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna do this. This is just a little bit of garnish of the nutmeg, okay? And I'm gonna put some of this over here in the sauce. This comes at the end. And what you wanna do is just a little bit of nutmeg. Can you see that okay? Little bit of nutmeg. You don't wanna overdo it because it's really heavy, okay? So I'll stir that up just like that, okay? Get a little bit of nutmeg in there, okay? And now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour. Here we go. Jimmy the Beak, here we go, baby. We're gonna go ahead and pour it in there just like this. And we'll mix it up just like that. Let's hold off a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Here we go, and I'll get this. Can you see in there okay, Jimmy? Look at that. Whoa. I know, I know. So let's go ahead and mix it up, man. Let's go mix it up, baby. Get this all good. Oh, man, this is gonna be wonderful, man. This is gonna be wonderful. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna go with the rest of this because I think it can use it. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and put it in there. Look at there. What a great little sauce right there. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Go ahead and mix it up. Voila! Look at that, is that beautiful or what? And it tastes fabulous. You're gonna love it, your family's gonna love it, but I'm not finished yet. I'm gonna put a little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese right on top, and that's one of the last things you do, just a little bit like that. Look how beautiful that looks, guys. Isn't that nice? And then, if you want to, you could get, you could get some olive oil and a little bit of a paper towel. You squirt a little bit on here like this. Go ahead and rub it in. You wonder, what am I gonna do for that? What am I gonna do? Maybe use it on my skin? No. And then what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna go around the edge just a little bit like this and you go, you're probably saying, what's he doing that for? What is he doing that for? Well, I'm doing that because I'm gonna use this right here. You see this? That's a little bit of basil. And what you wanna do is, look at me, Jimmy. This is foo-foo. Anyway, you just go ahead and do a little sprinkle. What it does is it, it helps it to stick to the plate and then everybody thinks that you went to school for culinary arts. And you wonder how much that would cost. Look at that. Huh? Vita's Italian Cucina. Always surprises here, baby. Don't forget to look us up on the internet. V-I-T-O-G. Vito G. Vito's Italian Cucina dot com. And remember to go to YouTube and subscribe. We could sure use to help. Remember, this is our fourth season. Lots of surprises. Arrivederci. Ciao.